Hello friends, in the current video tutorial, I am going to talk about a very important function available in LabVIEW that is the reshape array function. Sometimes we have an array and we want to reshape it into another dimension such as we have an element of 50 arrays, one day array and we want to reshape into an element of uh, 5 into 10 array or 10 by 5 array in two dimension. So we can use this function reshape array. Let's see. I have generated 1D array of let's say 50 elements. This is a 1D array and I have used this function reshape array. This is available in the array toolbox reshape array. and this is the output 2d array let's reshape the array the input is having 50 elements so we have to see that the rows multiplied by columns should be 50 so let's make the rows 5 and number of columns to be 10 let's run so you see that the original 1d array has been reshaped into a 2d array let's change a bit 10 and we make it 5 so this is reshaped we can also make it like 25 rows and 2 columns So when you extend, you will see this is the way it is generated. So it has bifurcated into rows first and then it has made into Sli uh, adjusting rows one by one uh, upon one another so one two then three four then five six then seven eight then nine ten let's see one by once again five by ten so this way first the rows are made and then the number of columns So let's see uh, another version of this reshape array. Can we convert can we convert uh, 1D array into 2D array uh, just by putting the rows and we don't put any index for the columns. I again generate 50 elements and I just put number of rows let the number of rows be 5 I don't put anything for the columns let's see if it works you see that number of columns have, are calculated automatically and the reshaped arrays generated so how I have done this let's see the programming I have just used this array size function. I have taken the size of the array. I have divided it by the number of rows. That gives me the number of columns. As the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns should be the number of elements in the 1D array. And I have generated the output as number of columns. And I have wired the number of columns to the second dimension of the reshape array which is the number of columns dimension also i have wired the number of rows to the first dimension of the reshape array which is the number of rows and i have generated a 2d array let's do once more let's do it 10 
automatically number of columns are calculated and 2d array is generated let's see yet another version of this function can we convert 1d array to 3d array yes we can do let's generate the number of elements to be 64 and let's generate two pages and uh, uh, let's generate four pages and four rows and four columns mind it that 60 if the number of elements are 64 the number of pages multiplied by number of rows multiplied by number of columns should be equal to 64 in the earlier version number of rows multiplied by number of columns should be equal to the number of elements here the number of pages multiplied by number of rows multiplied by number of columns should be equal to the number of elements so let's run so you see that this is a 1d array of 64 elements this is a 3d array this is the first page this is the second page and this is the third page of the 3d array we don't have any uh, we have we do have a fourth page also because four pages are to be generated and we don't have any fifth page index starts from zero so this is the first page let's see yet another version of this function converting 2d array into 3d array So I've generated a 2D array, which is 8 by 8 array. Firstly, I've generated 64 elements, and then I have wired it to the reshape array and generated 2D array. And this 2D array I have wired to the reshape array, and I have put the number of rows, number of pages, number of rows, number of columns. Let's put it four. 4 and 4 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 64 and let's run the program so again a 2d array is converted into 3d array directly so this is a wonderful function available in labview and has a very good functionality so that's all for this reshape array function i hope you have liked this video thanks for watching this video